today we start off with uh, the basics of the bee biology and then ways of catching a bee. And then right now we're building boxes and the experience of building frames. And um, after that we will go and look in some boxes and see how the people see bees and be in the buzz of the bees. <laughs> Bees are important to humans in probably two reasons. One is they produce honey. And honey is a sweetener used in foods and other things and is to take the place of table sugar. The second thing that bees are good for is the biggest reason is pollination. And pollination is where the bees will carry the pollen from one flower to the other and therefore fertilize the uh, plants to produce fruits. They pollinate up to 60% of the food, peaches, apricots, all your stone fruits. So without pollination and without bees, we wouldn't have any fruits. For bee venom, bee therapy, um, it's good for you. You can get stung and it brings back the vital energy to your body. So there's a lot of brood. See, there's your, uh, your pollen. For the passion of the love of the bees, that's why I keep bees, it's about the love, the connecting that much closer to source. You have to take this wax. In my class, we teach uh, the students how bees will take and draw out a, from a piece of foundation their home. So here in front of me, I have a piece of the foundation in a frame that they are going to use to build their home. In a couple of days, they will have built the frame to look like this, and here is the foundation completely drawn. We have the thin foundation, we call it wax foundation, that we put into a frame. It has the wires to support it, and the bees will adhere to this uh, foundation and they will raise the foundation from the wax that they produce in their bellies. And they will draw the foundation from the flat to the raised foundation, you can see now that each one of those is a hexagonal shaped structure, which we now call their cell, and they will raise their babies, they will put the honey in here, and they'll put the pollen, but it all comes from the bees producing the wax flakes on their belly, and then chewing them, and then, like putty, putting them onto each of these individually raised cells. So all the frames are together. You start with the outside one, and you wedge it. Again, it goes snap. Keep it in your hand. Always have it in your hand. From the classes I've taken about beekeeping, it seems like uh, everybody's interested in it because it's such a connection to their food. And then there's some super bright yellow ones. That's the pollen. That's the pollen. Really? The pollen. Okay. We have attorneys. We have business professionals. We have housewives. We have farmers. We have construction people, and they're here to learn about beekeeping. There's a movement now for helping the bees that are dying from something called colony collapse disease. And so people are picking up the man wagon and they're moving forward to help save our pollinators. A good place to keep bees is um, at a nice good organic farm like we have here at Fairview Gardens. It has a good biodiversity. That's what you want for your bees is the different biodiversity of, of nectar sources, of pollen sources, a good sunny location, southeast facing direction with a good water source. At our inaugural program for our urban homesteading series, this is our beekeeping class. The other classes we have offered this year, more beekeeping classes, cat classes on preserving, classes on canning, classes on soap making, composting. We have lots of gardening classes. Come, share the farm with us, share the fun, share the excitement, and take some of these skills home with you today.